final salute. An officer killed in the line of duty is laid to rest. It's just what's going on in the country right now. It makes me sick. Words from a grieving brother and officer after his older brother, Officer James Bennett, was killed doing a job he loved. The Housing Authority police officer was shot and killed while securing a, securing a construction site in Central City Sunday. Reporter Casey Ferrand has more from Bennett's brother and other officers who attended his funeral today. Officer James Bennett's brother says it was his brother who inspired him to become an officer himself. He's coping with this loss, but is also angered by the violent way he died. It's a sentiment shared by many of the officers attending the services today. As slain officer James Bennett Jr. is laid to rest, his brother, a fellow police officer in Seattle, carried his casket still coping with the shock of this tragic loss. Not the way us policemen think. If we were going to meet her in that way, we always think it would be on a call or something like that, not just somebody walking up and murdering you. Bennett, who'd been with the Hano Police Department for two years, was violently shot and killed while sitting in his patrol car in Central City. We've got a call from the director of the FBI in Washington, calls from police officers in Ireland, uh, police officers in Canada. Hundreds of officers throughout the country, as far away as Chicago and New York, attended services, including Officer Quentin Seals, who worked alongside Bennett for nearly two years. Losing a brother in arms is never easy. It feels awkward. You know, you want to be strong, but you want to feel the emotion, so it doesn't feel real. They also cope with the reality of the negative climate surrounding law enforcement agencies throughout the country. This is a tough job that you do it because you love it. You don't do it because you get paid a lot. So we're out here on the front lines trying to protect the public. We want, we want the people to know, despite all this, we're out there. We're going to protect. Meanwhile, Bennett will be remembered as an officer who served with pride, an officer who loved interacting with residents and the city's youth. He's just one of those officers that had a command presence about him. He wasn't excitable. He'd show up at, at a scene. Uh, he just had a calming presence about him. Now, with Bennett's death, the Hano Police Department is now an 18 member force. Hano's executive director said they will work side by side with the New Orleans Police Department to assist in this investigation as they continue to look for Bennett's killer. Adriana. All right, thanks, Casey. Bennett's career in law enforcement spans nearly three decades. He joined the JPSO Reserve back in 2000 before taking the job at Hano. He also served overseas in the first Gulf War.